Hi, my name is Rob Pardo, and I'm the Vice President of Game Design at Blizzard Entertainment. So in StarCraft II, we still have the, the same three races from the original StarCraft, and we're really trying to keep with a lot of the same themes. The race that we've been talking the most about right now has been the Protoss. The Protoss race really is a race that you know, has the least number of units. If you kind of look at the Protoss backstory, you know, they don't have a very large population compared to the Zerg or the Terrans, but they do have much more advanced technology and psychic abilities. So with Protoss, what we really try to do with the unit design is design much more powerful units, but they typically are a more expensive unit, both in supply cost and in actual resource cost. So if you're the Protoss player, you know, it, it, you have very different strategies than what you might have when you play with the other two races. In the previous StarCraft, you know, your, your infantry really just consisted of Zealots and then to a lesser extent, Dragoons. A big push that we've been trying to do with StarCraft II is to really broaden your early game choices, you know, really at the infantry level. So in StarCraft II, you have a few different options in the very early game. You still have Zealots, which really are the backbone of, of the Protoss army, just like they were previously. We have kind of upgraded them a little bit, where they have this charge ability, which is um, kind of an automatic ability they do on their own, where they can close distances once they get close to another unit. This is great for when they're kind of getting close to like bunkers or marines, and also really good for when they're chasing down fleeing units. In addition to that, we've added the Stalker. The Stalker unit is kind of a um, more of a light sort of Dragoon, you know, if you know the Dragoon from the first Starcraft, but has this blink ability where they can do short range teleports. And we also have added kind of this uh, much more powerful unit called the Immortal, which has this, um, this hardened shield around it, which really prevents it from taking uh, too much damage from you know, really powerful attacks so it really needs to be taken down by smaller units. So you can kind of see from the previous StarCraft who also taken this concept of hard counters. Each of these units are very different from one another and you'll use them in very different ways against different unit mix-ups depending on what your opponent's decided to build. With StarCraft II, you know, we're really trying to build it as a really fun competitive game, you know, much like its predecessor. That doesn't mean that it's not enjoyable to a broad audience, but it does mean that we have to make a lot of choices, you know, with certain unit types and certain abilities to keep the game pace really fast, have these really hard counters, and, and really kind of deliver on that gameplay style that, you know, made it such an enduring success. And that's something we're continuing to do. You know, that's really the spirit of StarCraft that we talked about in Korea. Now, you know, one of the things though we want to bring that, that's new to StarCraft too is really reimagining the different armies. You know, even though you may, you know, still have 15 minute long games or 20 minute long games and you may be playing with the same races, you know, the tactics and the abilities will be very different. You know, like an analogy I might use is, you know, imagine you're going to reimagine chess with totally different units and moves. You, know, you still might have, you know, the similar sort of strategy, you might have a similar grid size, but, you know, the game itself is going to be all new to learn, explore, and, you know, compete in. So StarCraft II is obviously made for the PC. We expect also to do a Macintosh version. And I'm sure everyone is excited to know when it's going to be released. And I can tell you absolutely that it will be released when it's ready.